Hey guys, it's Jack here. So purchasing solar panels can be a great way to save money and produce your own energy at home. And in today's video, I've compiled my picks for the top five solar panels in 2024. Let's see you do a Google search for the best solar panels. And we're usually inundated with a ton of information. And oftentimes actually, these solar panel companies pay huge commissions to review websites to get them on their top solar panel lists. The information on these aggregator websites can therefore be a little bit biased and flat out incorrect. Picking the right solar panel for your home from the very beginning is so important. And if you can just follow along for the next 10 minutes, you'll be able to know exactly which solar panel is best for your project and avoid costly mistakes along the way. So let's talk about the top five solar panels that you can get this year, starting off with number five, the Qcell QPeak Duo G10 All Black Solar Panel. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while, you would notice that this is the third year consecutively that we've had the Qcell G series panel on the list, and there's a good reason why. What you're gonna find with the Qcell is that they offer some of the best combination of price, performance, aesthetics, and warranty that you'll find on the market. And what really separates Qcell from the bunch is that Qcell is by far the largest American solar panel manufacturer in the country. In fact, just in the past year, they opened their new headquarters in Dalton, Georgia, which is now the largest solar module manufacturing site in the Western Hemisphere. Because of this and being able to achieve economies of scale and receive new manufacturing tax credits for domestically made panels, Qcell is consistently one of the best priced tier one panels on the market. And we continue to see a trend of installers white labeling or exclusively installing Q cells for their projects. As far as the specs are concerned for this panel, the 400 watt version of the G10 module comes in with an efficiency of 20.4%, a temperature coefficient of negative 0.34%, and guaranteed power of 86% at year 25. The X factor for this panel will be overall best pricing for tier one panel, so value for all the reasons that I mentioned earlier. Moving on to number four, we have the Aptos DNA 440 watt module. Now for homeowners who are concerned about the durability of a solar panel, which can stand through big storms or handle snow and hail, the Aptos DNA 440 watt is going to be a great option. This panel was specifically constructed to have a thicker frame and glass to protect the solar cells. And for those reasons, we've consistently seen the Aptos being sold in markets such as coastal Florida, the Southeast, and parts of Texas, which have experienced large storms. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice about the Aptos DNA panel is that it is a higher wattage panel, meaning that in this case, it is a physically larger panel. One issue can become that if you have limited roof space to install the panels or many obstructions on roof faces that the panels will have to be, installing a 440 watt module can be a little bit trickier to work with. Usually 420 watt panels and above are exclusively used in commercial or large-scale solar installs, but with Aptos, they did decide to sell a larger residential panel. Now, just to clear up a common misconception and belief around solar panels that many people have, just because one solar panel is higher wattage than another solar panel, it does not mean it's better by any means. It is true that a 440-watt panel can generate more power than a 380-watt panel. However, ultimately, the wattage of each individual panel is very irrelevant in the overall project scope. A solar panel is just a bunch of individual solar cells that are wired together in a series, and the overall wattage is just the sum of the wattage of each of its individual cells. So to create a higher wattage solar panel, all you've got to do is add more cells, meaning making a bigger panel. And companies and consumers buy solar panels on a price per watt basis. So if you buy the 440 watt version of a solar panel, it is just gonna cost more than the 380 watt because of the additional solar cells and bigger size. The only reason why you see most residential solar panels between the 380 to 410 watt range is because it provides a good balance of power output and manageable size to install and design on roofs. But circling back to the Aptos panel, the 440 watt Aptos DNA comes with an efficiency of 20.21%, a temperature coefficient of negative 0.36%, and guaranteed power of 85.1% at year 25, with the warranty going out an additional five years to 30 years. 
The X factor for this panel will be its durability. And when we compare it head to head against the QCell 400, we can see that the ratings do not vary too greatly. Moving on to the third panel, we have the Silfab 410 BG panel. Now, of all the panels that we're gonna speak about today, the Silfab is by far going to be the most aesthetically pleasing panel. And there's a reason for that. Silfab uses what is called a back contact technology, which means that the electrical conductors that connect the individual solar cells together are built behind the solar cells. So in other words, you will not see the bus bars, the silver lines on the front of the solar panel. And that makes for a very aesthetically pleasing all black panel. The Silfab panel will also be manufactured exclusively in the USA, which is even more of a benefit in 2024 and onwards, as domestically manufactured panels will now receive tax credits, making them more economical to homeowners. Now, as a reminder, in 2022, Congress passed the Inflation Reduction Act, which was one of, if not the largest investments that we've seen into clean energy. And in the bill, there were a number of tax credits targeted specifically towards domestically manufactured solar panels and components. For as long as time, American solar panel companies would manufacture the solar cells and other parts of the panel overseas, and maybe or maybe not assemble the panel here in the States. And so the ITC was aimed at bringing manufacturing back domestically to increase jobs, among other things. And so now what we've seen is that companies like Silfab, QCell, and others are constructing large commercial solar panel plants to take advantage of these credits. Now, the manufacturer solar tax credits earned for a solar panel that is made and assembled domestically will be credited towards the solar panel manufacturer. However, now since the expense is lessened to the manufacturer and there is much competition amongst the manufacturers, we can predict that the manufacturers can lower the price at which they sell these panels to consumers. We have seen this now with QCell among others and the new panels that they're making out of their Georgia plant are significantly less expensive than previously. So circling back to the Silfab, this panel will be made and manufactured in the states and as far as the specs are concerned with the 410 watt version of the elite bg module we will have an efficiency of 21.4 percent a temperature coefficient of negative 0.37 percent and guaranteed power of 90.8 percent at year 25. the x factor for this panel will be aesthetics as for it will have the cleanest black sheet of all the modules that we'll cover one great thing about this panel is that it does offer a linear power warranty out to 30 years as well as a 25 year product workmanship warranty, making it one of the best warranted panels on the market. When we now compare it to the QCell G10 and the Aptos 440, we can see that the Silfab trumps over them in efficiency and warranty, however, falls slightly behind in temperature coefficient. And by the way, guys, if you are in the process of looking at different solar power options for your home and you need to get a price quote for one of these solar panel options, or maybe you already have some bids and you'd simply like to get a comparison quote from us just to see that you're getting a good deal, feel free to reach out to us by using the link below below in this video and we'd be happy to provide you with some options for your home. Moving on to the second best solar panel of 2024, we have the QCell Qtron G2 410 watt solar panel. Now do not confuse this with the QCell G10, the Qtron G2 is going to be QCell's latest solar panel product which uses the latest generation Quantum Neo N-type solar cells. Now with these N-type cells, QCell is able to achieve module efficiency of 22% making it one of the most efficient solar panels on the market. But more importantly, QCell is now using with this panel gapless technology, meaning that the way that the solar panel is laid out, there are no gaps in between the solar cells. So virtually all the solar module surface is functional solar cells. And that's gonna be part of what contributes to it having such a high efficiency. Now, you might be wondering what the benefit of owning a highly efficient solar panel is. And I myself would argue that the efficiency does not actually matter as much as people should think. Ultimately, a solar panel's output is measured in watts. And efficiency simply has to do with the power density of that panel, meaning that if we have two panels head to head that are both 400 watts, the panel of the two with the higher efficiency would just be a slightly smaller module because the panel is more efficient. Now, there is that benefit that you can get more production from the same size panel, but what you're gonna see is that with all the major solar panels, they fall between 18 and 21% efficiency. And so the difference between one or 2% in a panel's efficiency is not gonna matter very much in the long run. My guess is that efficiency has been picked up by the marketing teams with these solar panel companies as they find consumers blindly put a lot of importance towards this rating, but it will honestly not matter that much to the homeowner in the end. Another benefit of the QCell Qtron is that they 
they've substantially improved the frame for this panel and increased the snow load rating from 5400 pascal to now 8100 pascal so it's a great option for places like the northeast which can get snowy conditions throughout the winter as far as the ratings are concerned with this solar panel the qtron g2 when we look at the 420 watt version will have an efficiency of 21.5 percent a temperature coefficient of negative 0.30 percent and guaranteed power of 90.58 percent at year 25. the x factor for this panel will be just like the g10 which is great pricing for performance as for thanks to qcell achieving economies of scale and receiving the domestic solar tax credits as for this is a made and manufactured solar panel in america the pricing for this panel is very competitive compared to other tier one panels now i'm sure that i'll get some comments requesting that i talk about the exact price that you should expect to pay for one of these systems but the fact of the matter is that the cost per watt for these panels varies greatly dependent upon the company in which you're buying the panels from and what prices they get the state in which you live and just the overall macroeconomics of panel prices at the time but instead what i can do for you guys is just mention the cost per watt adder that you can expect to pay for one of these panels as an average that we see with all of the installers that we work with over the country now finally moving on to number one we have the rec alpha pure 410 watt solar panel now the rec has been for a while considered one of if not the best residential solar panels on the market and this is going to be for a few reasons number one aesthetically the rec is a very sleek panel similar to the silfab by hiding the gray bus bars but more importantly it has two ratings that really separate it from the bunch those being warranties and temperature coefficient as i said before one of the best ways to judge the quality of a solar panel is to judge it by the warranty that it's able to offer and specifically the amount of guaranteed production the panel backs up with the warranty and with the rec alpha pure panel you have a 25 year warranty that guarantees 92 percent output at year 25 which just sits on top of the industry the alpha pure panel also offers an industry leading temperature coefficient making it a great panel for hot areas of the country like texas arizona or southern california temperature coefficient refers to how well the solar panel will produce when temperatures are above average in the case of solar panels they produce at max power with outside temperatures of 25 degrees celsius or 77 degrees fahrenheit and for every degree above that they're slightly less efficient what most people do not realize is that temperature coefficient comes out to being one of the most important ratings when looking at solar panels especially in hotter parts of the country because in the summer months when panels are producing at their highest levels temperatures on the roof can exceed 120 to 140 degrees impacting the power output of panels drastically now there are a couple things that i'll have to warn you about this panel number one you should typically expect to pay about an extra 25 to 40 cents price per watt above an average panel for the rec and number two this panel for a long time has struggled in pairing with Enphase microinverters in regards to power output and clipping since this rec panel has such a high power output especially the higher watt modules it is very common for the production of the system to experience clipping where the microinverters can simply not process all of the power that the panels are putting out and therefore production is essentially capped at a given point and what oftentimes this leads to is having to use a larger microinverter such as the Enphase IQ8A or IQ8H to be sufficient in pairing. Now, the issues with having to use a larger microinverter, aside from the price increase, is that oftentimes there is a much greater likelihood that you'll have to do a main panel upgrade on your main service panel. Whether or not you need an MPU when adding solar is calculated by looking at the available amps that you have for solar in your main panel and what the overall amperage size for your solar system will be and so the larger size inverters obviously the larger amp rating therefore many actually recommend using the string inverters such as solar edge with rec installs though this is just going to depend on a project to project basis so now we can see that when we compare all of these panels together rec will provide not only the lowest temperature coefficient which is better but also the best linear power warranty but the problem that we still have is that ranking all of these solar panels is not going to be everything that goes into a solar investment there are other things to evaluate when going solar for your home so that's why i went ahead and made this video going over the top five solar panel scams to avoid in 2024 so definitely go ahead and check that out but as always thank Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time.